Hey guys, so uh, this is a 100% death reset and there's only a few ways out of it. We're going to have a look at it first. Now this first one's off a jumping kickstart which is going to be really high damage. The other way of getting high damage is doing like a double NJP combo from a 1140x source starter. I didn't want to show that, it's a little bit impractical. Uh, I know I know it can be done consistently but if, if you're just trying to learn sites and you're trying to learn these things just doing it off that just seems ridiculous not only that it takes a lot of meter as well and this is just one bar okay so at this point in the setup the opponent's taking 40 percent damage now uh they're not gonna break her straight away um let we have to assume here that, that they've not got a breaker bill or they've had no meter but usually they're just going to break out. But that's fine, you know, that they've used two bars to get out of the situation. That's just how it is. We've spent one, so that's a fair trade for us. We've not, it's not like we spent three bars to get this. What people won't know is that a net is actually a restand, so the opponent doesn't get a wake up window. Now, a wake up window makes a reversal, uh, like wake up uh, move, like a special, really easy to input. Uh, they can tech roll, they can delay, they don't get any of that, they just get restored. And Cyrox is plus. Massively plus. So what does that mean? Well, what it means is I'm going to use forward one in these. But you can actually use forward two, which is a mid, if they're going to poke out. Even if they jump out, you can just catch them. And what I mean by that is if they try and jump out, they can't. If you're really good on the wake up frames, you can actually catch them on the landing frame. And if they try and jump out, it won't work. They'll just get hit. So you do forward two into back one or forward one into back one. Forward to be more difficult. And they get juggled. And you'll see here now as an example. And this is now just going to be a bog standard combo in the corner. Um, which is highest damage as you can get I believe. 32%. Into another sort of hard to blockable reset. Opponent's dead. Obviously this, is, this isn't a realistic thing because... The opponent will have breaker. The way the game works is when you take damage, you get breaker. You can EX net them if you want to try and reduce the odds of that. But in general, if you're doing 80 to 100% damage to someone, they're going to get breaker at some point. However, I still I still thought it was worth showing that sort of thing. Now, you're thinking, oh, it's off a jumping kick. You know, how often is that going to happen? If, if, if you get jumping kicked in the corner, maybe you deserve to get comboed. Well, I'm just going to show you it now off just a, like a, a, a starter, which I hit against. I don't think I've not hit this against any level of competition. You know, everyone falls for it. Oh, look. We're doing the combo again. This is the first time, by the way, right here that they're going to get to wake up. But it's a hard to blockable wake up. And you still end up killing them. So this is this is a hundred percent sequence with only one wake up opportunity, which is into hard to block a ball. And by the time they get to that point to armor out, you could probably do an uppercut um, to catch their wake up just to just to finish them off. You know, you could do a down two setup or something. I don't know. But you get, you get the point. The point here is that if they are out at that point, either you're almost already dead anyway, which is unlucky, here, which I would do a down two setup, or you're so grossly ahead in the match that you've probably won the round anyway. So this is what I wanted to show. I want. I also want to discuss how to. Get, I always try to say, you know, what's the best way out of this sort of thing, because I don't want people thinking, oh, this is broken, even though it's Cyrax, so you know who cares. But. Um, I'll show you how to get out now. So at this point here, unless the Cyrex's meaty timing is absolutely perfect, which with a bit of practice, is you, you will get it perfect every time. Uh, I did it with the back three thing mid-screen. I could do that maybe two out of three tries. So with this, it's even easier in my opinion. So you should be able to get this almost always. But if your opponent isn't doing it, jump out. So at this point here, you can jump. Now, if you had a look at that there, maybe not, but you can jump out if they're not right on the meter, and you'll just either get sort of, like, you'll get hit by the forward one, but the opponent will, um, 
sort of flop over, so to speak, and, and, you, and, you, and you'll get out, basically. The bomb will go off, you're on the floor, setup's gone. But if, if the Cyrex is perfect on his timings, you're going to get hit by forward one, have to endure the hit stun of that, and then you're going to have to take a hard to blockable. The other thing you can do at this point, if they're doing forward one, is you can actually down one out or down four out. Now, you can down four, then block the bomb, then jump out, or then start your own offense, or, you know, reset the game, so to speak. The problem you've got with that is you can do forward two. So, all these setups where I'm showing forward one into back one, you can do forward two into back one, on hit and on block. So, that means that the, that the sort of poke spam out is also not an option. If... You, now let's reverse this and say as a Cyrax player, you're not going to get your meaty timings. Your opponent's jumping out every time, but I want to try and do this. What's the best thing to do? Well, the best thing to do would be to do a standing four. And the reason why you do standing four is if the opponent is jumping... You get a juggle as you can see there and you get a combo so i could have done maybe one 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 ex saw njp back two standing for um down back one so i could have done you know all sorts of opportunities of that enough that's 30 percent damage so that jump out that they've just thought was really super cool has not worked out in their favor now you might be thinking well stand standing four that's not you know, if I'm just doing a rago standing fossil, actually standing four on block and on whiff, although the timing of it is super difficult, um, you can do standing four into back one and get a launch. I can't believe I just did that first time. Try it for yourselves, you'll know what I mean. So, on block and on hit, you can still do it with standing four. The only, the hardest part of that whole, even though the execution that's quite tight, the hardest part is hit confirming whether they've jumped or not. Or whether they've just stood there and blocked it or not. That's that's the hard part because obviously you're gonna have to either go into back one to to, to do the combo, or if they've jumped, you're gonna have to go into two one pretty fast to juggle them. But yeah, so that's the setup. Uh, I've been. I don't know whether you call it. I'd, I'm gonna say it's a new setup because I've not. I don't. I have not seen anyone do my corner combo like there is no corner combo where somebody's done the same thing into the late njp i made i've made that uh in like me and neo space found all this stuff out so that part so the whole setup as a whole is new the restand from the net isn't new but i don't think it's been used enough at all that it's a restand and no wake up opportunity for your opponent they can't even backdash this because if they if they backdash they're still going to get hit by back one bomb. There's no way out for them other than to just get lucky or you mess up your timings. Simple as that. The other, oh yeah, the other point. Now, if this is happening to you all the time and you're really struggling and you're thinking, oh my God, he's going to do it to me again at this point. Block, this is, hit, this is the important bit. Block this, then armor. Block the initial hit, then armor out. That's your best chance. That's your best chance out. Uh, and look, if you look at the Scorpion's health at this point, let's say we had about 5% onto that because this Scorpion's done takedown or something. Uh, yeah, st you've still done a, a really healthy amount of damage to the opponent. So I don't think it, uh, you know, I, I really hate it and it really annoys me that we're at the point in the game where people are like, just armor. I, I really don't care if you armor or not. Uh, I'll take that 10% and then I'll just go straight back into my, 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 my overwhelming offense. I hated armored launches, and pe people when it came out said, "Oh, it's improved offense." People, people are just don't care anymore about just mashing and stuff. And and to 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 a certain extent, it's true. Uh, but the main issue is that there are some armors that are way worse than others. So, for instance, sect. The reason why sector is S tier beyond all these tools and his offense and stuff is the fact that his armor is is a, a restand tool. So when Sector armors, it like with Cyrax, if I armor, I do 12% here. Yeah. It's punishable on block, by the way, like really easily by mids and stuff. Um, but it just knocks you on the floor. I can put a bomb on the screen, but uh, if you read that, a lot of characters can just like run up and do a, a, an advancing move and go past it. Or, 
you know, there's not too much from it. To be fair, Cyrex actually gets more than most off their armor. Um, but some characters like Sector have an armor that's a restand, and then it's a plus restand. So you're not only holding the 14% armor, which as Sector as well, like covers the air as well, so they can't, you know, do any of that stuff. It's, it, it, you then have to hold his offense. So it's basically like, I've armored, now it's my turn as well. Whereas with Cyrax, it's like, I've armored, or oh, the tech rolled away, or, you know, uh, it's not so, it's not so simple. The other armors that are really strong are armors that have a hard knockdown component to them, where the opponent is guaranteed a meaty off of them, and then it's just armor trading, you know, so oh, he's armored, now he's armored, and it's just back and forth. But other than that, um, in regards to, in, to the game, and if, if, like, if this Scorpion was to armor, like, if I knew you were going to armor, so I did forward one, I'm like, he's going to armor now, I could just block and full combo punish you as well. I'm not negative at that point. So... Again, it's it's tough for the opponent to get out. If you can master this kind of stuff, you're going to be so strong. So, so strong as the Cyrax player. So, so strong. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, this has given you insight into the corner game for Cyrax and how much it's improving over the weeks. And good luck getting your wins out there. So, take care. Bye-bye.